Hey guys, for today's video, I know I'm looking a little crazy right now, but that's because we're testing a new product today. And let's just go ahead and talk about this from the start because I am so excited to play with this. I found this on the Ulta website. This is the NYX Glitter Goals Liquid eyeshadow. I've literally never heard of this. I've never seen this on the internet. I've never seen anybody talk about it in videos. I watch a lot of freaking YouTube videos. If this isn't new, please comment below and just let me know. Put me in my place if you have to, but I've never seen this on the internet. And I usually go on the Ulta website about once a week. Okay, I know. I, that's how crazy I am. Okay, I'm not kidding. I go on the Ulta website about once, maybe twice a week, and I'll just kind of go through the new stuff, see what's coming out, see what's on there, see what's popping, see if there's new things for me to test. And this popped up, I'm pretty familiar with NYX. I love a lot of their products because they're so affordable, number one. Number two, a lot of their stuff is amazing. I've never heard about this, ever. I've heard about other glitters that they have, but never these, and I was like, if this is a win, this could be a freaking game changer. I'm gonna be testing this against the Stila liquid glitters and I only got one color. I'm at this point where I'm trying not to over purchase things. I know that sounds crazy because I buy so much makeup. When I say I'm trying not to over purchase things, I mean if there's something new, like for example this, I added all the colors into my cart, but I was like, hold up, let me try one first before I go ahead and just spend all my money on everything because I'm at the point where there's like, there's no room. There's no room, I have room for nothing. I'm like at the point where I'm just stacking things on the ground, I just don't have room. I'm trying to be more um, conscious about what I buy. So I just got one color for now and if I end up loving these, I will go ahead and pick up more. But this is the shade We Out. Let's do a little swatchy poo. This is like a, oh I love this shade. Like this is one of my tones. I love taupe and silvery taupes and colors like this. Now I will say on the Ulta website this looked more silver because I was hoping to compare it to the Stila Diamond Dust. This is like one of my favorites ever. I was hoping to compare it to this but when it came in it actually looks a little more on like the taupey grayish side. So I'm still going to compare these two together but I'm gonna have two different colors on my eyes so hopefully nobody notices because I have errands to run. But I don't care, we're doing it for the YouTube. So actually what I thought I would do is I could mix these two colors together. I have Smoldering Satin and Diamond Dust. I'm hoping if I like kind of concoct these together, I could get a color that's similar to the NYX one. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know how much I love these. Like, honestly, I love them so much, but it pains me to spend the money on these because they're so expensive. These are like $25 each. So this is $50 right here, these two. When I'm up at the counter ready to pay, I'm like, oh no, but I love them so I spend the money on them. They're really good. So if this is comparable to these, it would be a freaking game changer. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out. I will say just from looking at the swatch on my hand, these Stila ones do look like they have more glitter. Actually, let me go ahead and just show you guys um, the swatch. So you can kind of see in the light how glittery the Stila one is. I did mix uh, Smoldering Satin and Diamond Dust together. This doesn't have nearly as much glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it looks like there's more of like a black ish glitter in there. It's still very pretty and sparkly, but I have to say the Stila ones are definitely more sparkly. I already have my face done and everything. I'm just gonna apply the glitters and just so you guys can kind of see the initial first impression. I'm sure everybody knows about the Stila ones, but I thought I would just go ahead and apply it on camera anyways. I'm gonna take you through the day with me. Right now it is 1.03, um, 1 o'clock. I have a long day today. I have errands to run. I have cleaning to do at home and then I have a date tonight with my man. My last check-in will probably be fairly late so we'll get like a full review out of it let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and then we'll get started also I played with the settings a little bit on my camera you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think I actually watched Amy Masato Macedo I don't know how to say her last name I'm gonna link her video below because she did a video on her setup and a room tour of her equipment and the settings she does on her camera and I adjusted my settings to what she has hers adjusted to because her quality is 
out of this world. I don't have the same camera as her, but I did play with the settings, and I think like on my computer, they look so much better, but of course I won't know until I edit this video, but you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think below. I'm gonna go ahead and link her video below because it was like so freaking helpful. Um, yeah, so I'll make sure to link that below if you guys do YouTube or if you're planning on doing YouTube, it was so helpful, so I'll link that below. I said that three times. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take some glitter glue. This is the next one. I always use glitter glue with liquid shadows because I'm oily even though my eyelids are dry right now they're still really creasy and I'm still really oily and I want to give it a hundred percent fair test I'm gonna do what I always do and I wear a glitter glue with these shadows because they have a lot of fallout I remember the first time I tried these when they first came out um, it was on my husband's birthday like two years ago I think we were like going out and celebrating and my face looked like a freaking disco ball because the fallout was all over my face so I do wear glitter glue with these I wear glitter glue with all types of liquid shadow so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it I'm gonna start with smoldering satin oh my god I love these glitters they're so beautiful this is diamond dust I'm just gonna do a little bit of this and I don't think these colors are gonna be a hundred percent the same but we are just trying our best, honey. So just do a little dab and if it's not perfect, it's okay. So that is smoldering satin and diamond dust mixed together. Do you see how freaking sparkly that is? Like it is stunning. We can't deny it, right? Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna take my glitter glue again and let's just apply this sucker right here. First, let me go ahead and show you guys the applicator. This is what it looks like. Let's compare it to the Stila one. The one with the gold top is the Stila one and the one with the black top is the NYX one. So the applicators look exactly the same. I actually love the applicator of the Stila ones. The only thing that bothers me about the Stila one is it's kind of hard to work with with a brush and it's not sanitary for clients so that's the only thing is that it's a little more difficult like the product itself is a little difficult to work with because you have to go in with either your finger or a brush and I like to use the Stila ones straight from the applicator so when it comes to clients I have to use my finger or a brush and it's it's just kind of a pain in the ass to work with not a deal breaker obviously because you know you can make it work I just wish it worked a little bit better. Okay, so this is the NYX one. There's like a big difference in color. Damn, I have shit to do today. Okay, you know what, it's fine, I don't care. I have some Christmas shopping to do. Yes, I'm that bitch. I'm going Christmas shopping in the beginning of November and I don't care. But I hope the salesperson isn't looking at me like, bitch, why do you have two different color eyeshadows on? I think the NYX one takes a little bit longer to dry down. The Stila one is already dry, so I'm gonna try to just help this along. I'm gonna fan my eye and get it to dry because I don't have time to be sitting here. I'm worried that if it's not dry and it creases, it's going to um, like set and crease. Actually, while I'm here, let me go ahead and tell you how much these are because I think they're like seven bucks or something like that. Oh, okay, so they're on sale right now for $5.59, but they're originally eight bucks. Oh, dang, they're on sale. I might have to make a stop at Ulta. Oof. Are these new? It doesn't say if they're new, but I swear to God, they're new. They have like amazing reviews. I'm telling you when I bought them, there were no reviews because I was searching high and low for reviews and I could only find like one or two. There's actually people saying that they're a dupe for the Stila glitters. This review says that they sting the eyelid for a few seconds. Um, I will say I do feel a little bit of a burn. It's not anything crazy, like it's not burning my eyes or anything like that, but it, it does feel a little bit tingly, but it's not bothering me. I don't have super sensitive eyes, so keep that in mind. If you do have sensitive eyes, that's maybe something to just think about. I would say like 95% of the reviews say that they're like a dead on dupe for Stila. Okay, I will say now that I have them on my eyes, the Stila one is definitely way, way, way more glittery. This is probably more like the Stila, um, shimmers. I would probably say the word dupe uh, very lightly. I wouldn't say these are a hundred percent a dupe. It's still really pretty but definitely not as 
glittery as this. I mean, you can see it right there that it's not as glittery. I think this is pretty much dry. So I'm gonna go ahead about my day. I'm just gonna apply lashes. It's 118 right now. So I'll check in with you when I'm on the road. Hello, everybody. Oh, let me turn off the music so I don't get in trouble. Okay, it's almost four o'clock. I'm getting ready to go home. I forgot why I hated the mall so much. I don't like the mall because there's too many fucking people. Like, why are there people during the day on Friday? I feel like nobody should be here. Okay, so let me show you guys my eyeshadow. Um, there's this lady that just walked by me and we totally made eye contact while I'm talking into the camera and now I'm like low-key embarrassed. Okay, I have so much highlight on because I went into Sephora of course and I tested out the Fenty Beauty the silver highlight because I want to buy it but I was like am I really gonna use it is it beautiful in person and it did not disappoint but that's why my face is so sparkly it looks so good it hasn't creased or anything I would think if it's gonna crease I would have creased already at least that was a rhyme yeah it looks good right so far I went to go get a Christmas gift for somebody in my family at a specific store. I can't say the store or the person because my family watches my videos and if I say it, they'll know when I'm getting them and I don't wanna ruin the surprise, but they were so fucking rude. They were so rude. Let me hold you guys up a little bit higher because I feel like you can see my double chin. There were two girls just standing there like by themselves and I was like, hey, are one of you guys available? And they both seriously looked at each other like this like this like seriously back and forth made eye contact and then one of the girls was like uh yeah i guess i can help you and i was like you guess bitch so anyways i was like whatever i'm just gonna go ahead and get it because you know i know it's what this person wants there was something a promotion that they were running and while i was standing there waiting for the one girl to go and bring it out from the back the thing that i was getting i know this is like so annoying that i'm saying the story but i'm gonna tell you guys anyways because i was like seriously like what the fuck and I don't get offended very easily like I'm the most chill person in the world I'm seriously like oh whatever oh whatever who cares like it's whatever but I was like just the fact that don't be a bitch you know I wanted to look at a couple of different things they had a promotion running and I was like oh you guys are doing this promotion and she was like excuse me like she wasn't doing anything she was seriously just like acting like I, I was so annoying for asking when I say she had a fucking attitude this bitch had a fucking attitude and I was like what is like what's the deal dude like and I'm not a rude person I know I'm like very like nah, in your face but I'm not a rude person I'm really nice I worked retail for a very very many 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 years of retail many years of customer service many years of the service industry so I always feel for them especially and I try to be as nice as possible because I know from personal experience and years and years and years of working retail and service how much customers can suck okay so I'm always really nice oh you know oh you guys were running this promotion um yeah but blah 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 and she started telling me all the restrictions and I was like okay whatever I was like whatever I was like at this point I was like these bitches are gonna be rude and then that same girl seriously was staring at me as if she thought I was gonna just slip something into my purse I'm not kidding when I walked into that store the lady who told me about the promotion she was not doing anything when I walked in didn't even greet me no hi welcome in blah 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 there weren't even a lot of people in the store this lady just like looked at me the ugliest fucking face I'm not even kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. She was so rude. And then she was seriously like I was walking around and looking. I'm not kidding. She was staring at me like she thought I was going to fucking shoplift. I was like, what the hell? Like, do I look like I'm a shoplifter? I mean, I'm sure like shoplifters come in all shapes and sizes. But I'm just saying like, I'm like literally just trying to buy an innocent Christmas gift for a loved one. Is that okay, bitch? Damn, they were so rude. Like, that was the worst experience. Anyways, I just wanted to get that rant off my chest because I was seriously fucking appalled. And I'm not kidding when I say I, it really, like, I don't get offended easily. Like, me and Matthew are both the most laid back people you will ever meet. We're so chill. We're like, oh, whatever. This fucking store pissed me off. I've been to another store at another location and they were like the nicest people. So helpful, so friendly. But this fucking store fuck you anyway so i think i already said it's about four o'clock it's been 
almost three hours not quite but I'm done I'm gonna go home I kind of want to go to Target like I don't need to go to Target but I want to I really need to go grocery shopping we have no food but it's four o'clock now and I'm gonna hit traffic I seriously walked around the whole mall when I didn't need to like I could have left an hour ago and beat traffic but thus is life for me I have a shopping problem and I didn't even buy anything else but should I go to the grocery store Nah, I don't think I'm gonna go. It can wait. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and I will check in with you guys. Mm, my next check-in probably won't be until after I get home tonight, but I'll check in with you guys later. Bye! after two cups of coffee and a full night's sleep. Okay guys, when we got home from dinner, I went and laid in bed and I was literally like this. Like I was like, <gasps> I didn't film the end of my video. So I'm here, the lights are very bright because I've been in a dark room, but we're gonna finish off this video. So it is actually 9.30 exactly according to my computer and I've had this eyeshadow on for a full eight hours and you guys, it's really good. Let me go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, first, please ignore my face. I'm trying the Makeup Forever foundation again. My face doesn't look good, so don't look at my face, look at my eyes. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. This is the NYX side. You guys, no creasing. No creasing whatsoever. Let me just go ahead and pull off my lashes. It's been on for an entire day. Oh my God, these are a freaking steal. I'm so happy. Now I know it's not 100% a dupe because you can obviously tell that the Stila side is way more glittery. These are more of a sheen. They have a little bit of glitter in them but they're not quite as reflective as the Stila ones. But for seven bucks, literally a fraction of the price of the Stila ones, you can't beat it. They're so freaking pretty and they're so good. And on my oily eyelids and my eyelids that are so creasy, where I have a problem where a lot of liquid shadows just don't work for me. I'm just saying it right now. I'm gonna pick up some more. I'm gonna pull up on my phone right now what other colors they have, just so I can tell you. They have a pink one, a more champagne one, a black one, a really yellow gold, uh, more of a copper looking one, and then this looks like it's more like a steel gray color. They do only have seven colors. I mean, you can't beat the price. They're only $7.99, and they're on sale right now for $5.59. So yeah, if you wanna pick them up like anytime soon, they do have them on sale right now. It's only a couple bucks off, but still, it's something. I mean, I just can't get over it. I can't believe how it didn't even budge whatsoever like it hasn't budged at all and if you're somebody who has hooded lids you know how a lot of cream products typically just don't work um, because of all that creasing and folding with the eyelids so you guys these are a steal these are a hundred percent yes check them out if you have seen them in stores or you've seen them online and you're not a hundred percent sure about them Yes, give them a chance. I'm definitely gonna be picking up more colors. I'm so excited to try out more. So if you guys have tried these before, go ahead and leave it in the comments below what colors you love. Let me know um, if they work for you, if they didn't work for you also so other people can see. And just go ahead and let me know your thoughts below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm so tired, I'm going to bed right now. It's only 9.36. I'm going to bed. This lady is old. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.